I have two different methods on how you are going to be able to max out your cooking skill. So, one method is going to be manual, well not manual, but part of it will be manual where you have to make some of the things yourself, which you will see once I get onto that. But first of all, what we're going to do is a complete auto farm, and all you have to do is just build the factory itself. So what you want to do first is you're going to want to lay out where you're going to place things, make sure to place your grass and put the wheat seeds on, and when you place your grass, make sure to plow it as I have done on the other side. Then what you want to do is go into place your wheat seed on there so they can start growing while you're building the rest of the factory. Then you're going to want to start to place some of your tier 2 conveyors and make sure you are using some wheat totems. Make sure they are wheat because I know people that have before have used like onion totems and to be honest it is quite funny and a bit embarrassing for them. Next of all, what you're going to do is you are not going to be placing a chest, you're going to be placing a food processor. Now what this does is this will automatically convert whatever you're putting into here, will change it and create something else. So you can make it to make dough, uh, you can make it to make kikiju, I mean literally anything. But what I'm, we're going to be doing is we're going to be making it so it makes pancakes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to need a conveyor next, and then you're going to want to place a food processor. Nope, you're not going to want to be placing a food processor, we just place that. You're going to want to be placing an oven, so you're actually able to cook the pancakes. And as you um, have an oven which needs to be powered in some way, you're going to be getting some coal totems to put next to it. And I would advise only to use one, as if you use two, it will overfill and cause despawning to happen. And then bang on the end, as you normally would, just stick a good old chest in here so the pancakes have somewhere to go. So as you can see, the food processor should hopefully start to fill up once the wheat has started dropping it. As you can see, the totems have started to collect them and replace the seeds, but now what it needs to do is it just needs to drop it onto the conveyor here. Oh, there you go, you can see that it's dropped some wheat into there, you can see that there we go, it is now starting to fill up. Once that's filled up, it will some produce some pancake dough. Oh, hopefully you might do that in a second, actually. There you go, five more weeks, so you need four more, quick maths. And then once that, it will turn into a dough, go into the oven, which we already have fuel with, and then bang, go straight into our industrial oven. And we will come back and check on that later in the video. So, now the second method, what you're going to do is you're going to start it as you normally would with the other side. So placing your conveyors, placing your totems, and having your wheat farms all ready. But then what you're going to do instead this time is just place a chest on the end, which does seem quite unusual. You're like, well, yeah, but now we're just collecting up wheat. I mean, we wheat's not going to really do much by itself, is it? How's that going to How's that going to get up my cooking XP? Well, what you can do is you can go to your cooking table, which is conveniently placed here, and you're going to go through and find things that you can make with wheat. So you're able to make dough, and if I scroll down a little bit, pancake dough. Now you can see that dough, normal dough, creates uh, needs to be created with three wheat, and pancake dough needs to be crafted with nine wheat. But the interesting thing is, so if I craft one dough, as you can see here, that will give me 30 XP. So, now because the pancake dough costs three times the amount, because it's three plus three for three, you'd think it gives three times the amount of XP, so 90 XP. But the thing is, if you do make it, it gives you 150 XP. So it gives you 60 more XP than it should do, because it's, it's usually three times the amount. So what I would do is, although dough is very good to craft things, I would only make pancake dough if you're just using wheat. Now, it's literally the best method to do. So let's say, let's craft uh, 100 doughs. Let's craft 300 doughs, apparently. We'll get 3,000 XP. Now, if we hopefully try and craft... Nope. 100 of these. Bang. You can see that we only crafted 20 pancake doughs, but we still got the same amount of XP. So, you can see that there's definitely a big difference with how much you are actually going to be making. Which is pretty impressive. So, definitely make the pancakes dough. So if we come back over here, we can see that this has filled up, it's gone into the oven, and now we are creating pancakes, which is very, very cool. I think the more efficient method though would be to use this, because the wheat gained is much quicker, and also you don't have to wait for the um, food processor to go into the industrial oven and turn it into regular pancakes. 
you can just make the pancakes yourselves. It doesn't make the cooked version, it does make only the dough, so if you do want the pancakes, you'll just have to heat them up um, in another way. But I think this is the most efficient method of being able to get cooking XP, which is very, very good, because, well, who doesn't want cooking XP? I and mean, you can see just recently, I've already got 7,000 XP, and that was about one minute because I already had lots of wheat. So if you just AFK this, build the farm significantly bigger than this, I guarantee you will be able to level up your cooking super easily. And obviously, the higher cooking, the higher, well, level you are, the more cooking yield you'll get. So it's even better. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. And if you have any questions, just stick them in there as well. But I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.